everyone, back again, and today I'm going to be doing another journal page with you. So we're back to my small ranger art journal, and I'm going to be using a lot of new products today, so I'm quite excited about that. So let's dive straight in. Um, first of all, I'm going to be using some high impact paint from Tattered Angels, and the colours that I've got here are, let me tell you, white and aqua. Now it says to shake these before using them. So we'll give them a good shake and then I'm going to pop a little bit of each colour into my palette. And they pour. So, let's wipe up the excess. Oh, this is a really nice pearly white. Really pretty. Leave you in there. Okay, and I'm just going to cover the page first of all with the two colours, blend them together a bit, mix them up, and I'm going to just use my finger to apply that and smear it across. Oh, I really like the way these move and blend. They're really nice. I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same to the other side of the page. Okay, so there's both my pages with all the colour down. I have to say, I really, really love that that pearlescent shimmer, that shine to the pages. It's so pretty. Almost like a marbling effect. It's really nice. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, some darker areas around the edges of the page just to distress it a little bit and to do that I'm going to be using a calendar mist kit from Tattered Angels and the mist kit's called Man Cave and the mist that I'm going to use is called Rich Brown and that's a simply sheer mist so I'm just going to add it around the edges I'm going to carry on doing that now all around the edge of the pages and you can see where it's given a really nice age look but it's quite subtle it's not overkill okay so there's the two pages edged I hold it up so you can see God, I love the way that this ink moves it's so different it's really it's it's just lovely <laughs> it's just really really gorgeous 
So that's that. So the next step is I'm going to do a bit of background stamping and I'm going to be using some stamps from Seven Gypsies. So I'm going to be using this wooden stamp, which is all writing, and I'm going to be using this stamp set as well. And this one's called Timber Claire, I think. I'll link it in the description below anyway. So, and I'm gonna be stamping with uh, Rangers archival link. Okay, so next I've got uh, a couple of papers here. I've got a mixed media origins paper called Wings from Tattered Angels. And I'm gonna be cutting some of the butterflies out from this paper. And then I've also got a uh, Seven Gypsies Wonderlust paper mixed media pad. And this has got, um, this has got materials, fabrics in, as well as papers as well. And the paper I'm going to be using is, let's find where you've gone. I'm going to be cutting this panel here out. And I'm going to be using this brown and um, sort of ripple cardboard as well. Corrugated, that's the word. So I'm going to go and cut those out. Okay, so I've cut out the pieces. And instead of using the corrugated card, I used some of this bluey grey canvas instead. And so, first of all, I'm going to place them down where I want them. Something like that. And then I'm going to glue them all to the page using... 3D matte gel. Right, now I've got a few of the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists here and I'm going to take these and I'm going to just open the tops up and using a small paintbrush I'm going to colour in the butterfly wings. Let's start with this one. And give these a good shake before you use them.
Right, so now that those butterflies are coloured and dried, I'm going to take a piece of uh, chipboard from Dusty Attic, and this is Cyclone Wire. And I'm going to put this over the top of the butterflies. But I want to make it have a sort of rusty appearance. So to do that, I'm going to be using this paint system from Tattered Angels and it's naturally aged paint system, bare metal and this is in rusty metal. So you get four items in this uh, kit. Let's open it up. And then you also inside get all the instructions to show you how to use it. So, but they're really, really simple. So we start off by using, let's get it out. So we start off by using the shade shimmer spray. And we're gonna give the whole thing a really good coat of that. Make it really wet. My spray is having a bit of a moment. So I'm getting quite close and really getting the chipboard wet here. Okay, and secondly, we're going to take the Vintage Pink Glimmer Mist, give it a good shake, and then we're gonna give that a good coat of that as well. Sorry about that. Somebody always wants to phone. Right, so there's the pink as well. Now, we're gonna take pewter, which is a glaze, also give that a good shake, and then I'm gonna use a small detail brush, and I'm going to add bits of this in random placements across the chipboard. Quite thick, there's no sort of pattern to what I'm doing, I'm just really randomly distributing it. Now we're going to dry that off with the heat gun. Okay, so now that that's dry, you can see, I hope, that it's starting to resemble the metal and it's got a lovely shimmer to it. So then the next step is we take the Camel Glam, which is a glaze, give it a good shake. And then the same as with the pewter, apply this randomly, but I'm also gonna try and let this really pull in certain places. And then when I've got quite a bit pulled, as I have here, I'm gonna dry it really close with the heat gun. And now, let's find it, let's hope you can see, if you can see here, the camel that we've just put on has really bubbled up to give a lovely rusted effect. And you can put as many layers as you like of that over the top and really build it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing. Right, so there we go. So now that it's all done and dried, you can see that it's starting to resemble a lovely rusty wire mesh. There we go. All right, okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna cut it down a bit and stick it onto the page. 
So I think we're going to cut it here. Yeah, and then also I'm going to add some of these little screw heads um, from Prima to look like they're screwing the piece down. And to glue everything on, I'm going to be using the matte 3D gel again. Okay, so for the piece that's going to go over this one, I'm going to use um, a craft knife just to cut out part of the middle so that, and pull it back a little bit so that it looks like the butterfly's broken free from the wire. Okay, so now that those are in place, to finish off the page, I'm going to take this little brown luggage tag and this other little bit of brown card and I'm just going to stamp onto them and the first stamp I'm going to use, this one's from Tim Holtz and I'm going to use this stamp that says Fig 1, Fig 2, Fig 3 and so on. Let's get that one out. And then the second one I'm going to use uh, is from Finnevar and it says don't forget to fly. go ahead and glue those down and I'm going to use some Tombow liquid glue to attach those. And then lastly I'm going to add my little butterfly that's free just over here but I'm going to give him a little coat of, maybe gone, the tattered, oh, sorry, tattered angels glimmer glam glitter paint. So I'm going to give that a good shake and grab a brush. And then we'll just give him a coat of glitter, just to make him a little bit extra special. Okay, so I'm just going to glue him down as well using the Tombow glue again, but I'm bending the feathers up slightly, the feathers, the wings. I'm bending the wings up slightly so that he stays raised above the page and then you can see the shadow of his wings underneath. So I'm only going to glue on the body here.
and there we go and that is my finished journal page So I really hope you enjoyed this um, uh, I really enjoyed using all these new products. I had a lot of fun and I'm sure I'm going to be using them much more. So yep, if you did enjoy then please like and subscribe down below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.